The World Health Organization wants to change the way people view gender, updating an agency manual with an explanation of gender that goes beyond male and female. The WHO says in light of new scientific evidence, it's promoting what's called the Gender Mainstreaming Manual. It bypasses the traditional binary approach, instead focusing on gender and sexual diversity. CBN's Brody Carter has the story and joins us now. Brody, the move is receiving some pushback. It is, Caitlin. John, the United Nations' primary mission is to maintain peace and security. But the agency's health unit has a plan that upsets the traditional understanding of gender, pushing to make gender identity mainstream by, quote, going beyond male and female labels of gender. Now, critics worry it's a politically motivated agenda that will cause more confusion. The WHO has already made explicit that their new manual is going to be uh, promoting a non-binary concept of sex and gender, for example. The WHO's gender mainstreaming manual aims to teach the world about gender roles in relation to health-related behaviors. It's widely used and cited and supports new health care policies and laws. And pretty soon, the manual could change the way we talk about sex and gender. And so, you know, people can cite the WHO and say, well, we're just doing this. It's, you know, follow the science, follow the, the experts on this. Rebecca Ose, director of research at the Center for Family and Human Rights, says the World Health Organization pioneered making transsexuality mainstream in 2018, what it removed from its list of mental health disorders, gender dysmorphia, formerly the mental illness associated with identifying as transgender. They're really trying to have it both ways. They want to say, first of all, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. You're perfectly fine. And we have, you know, we have treatments for you. <laughs> we can give you surgeries. We mm. can give you hormones, um, you know, to, to fix what's not wrong with you. Updates to the gender mainstreaming agenda include changing key concepts around gender to include power dynamics, privilege, and inequality, normalizing gender identity outside of male and female and introducing new lessons and team building exercises to teach healthcare professionals why male and female genders discriminate against transgender people. This is really an effort to try to really intimidate and streamline a particular way of thinking and talking about this issue. Nicole Hunt, Life Issues Analyst for Focus on the Family. Even culturally, we're seeing this pressure. For instance, just last week, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, online dictionary, announced that it was changing its definition of female to include anyone who has, quote, a gender identity that is opposite of male. They're trying to change a narrative about family, and it's something that Christians need to be prepared to defend. Rebecca and Nicole say the gender mainstreaming update is based on political wins, noting the World Health Organization's largest donor is the White House, allocating between 200 and 600 million dollars every year. They warn this update to the manual could have legal consequences. Then what we're going to see is we're going to start to see more of an acceptance of things that are anti-biblical, and that is going to influence the laws of this land and the way that our Constitution is interpreted. The updated manual will be released in the coming months. Critics encourage parents to learn what's in it to better defend against it. Brody Carter, CBN.